Yes, yes, yes. Blessings, blessings, blessings. I'll tell you a clip. A little update on Brigadier Jerry and how the case is going. So, we have this lawyer who is also a fan of Brigadier Jerry. His name is um, Donald Vernon. And he's going to give you a little input and you know certain things that brigadier is facing right now he's gonna give us a little input on that and clear up certain things to us those of us who care and would like to know what's going on so far all right because we all heard that he's released but like i said i couldn't give you much on the releasing and charges and so forth you know how it's work out but here we get a little insight of what's going on all right so just take a listen donald vernon a fan of brigadier jerry who was arrested earlier this month on gun and robbery charges but vernon also a lawyer that he finds himself in this predicament um, is of course extremely disappointing and sad. Some background, responding to a prank, Brigadier Jerry had fired an illegal gun at a Caribbean eatery on November 11 and made off with some cash. A fellow card player had hid his wallet as a joke, which apparently backfired. He is gonna face some legal challenges. That could get worse for Brigadier Jerry as the case heads the court in Connecticut where, like New York, possessing a firearm requires a license. If, if, if Brigadier didn't have a license, um, then he's gonna be charged with you know, illegal possession of a firearm. Easy to get guns in states like Texas and Florida. On the other hand, if you're in New York City and you get caught with an illegal firearm, there's a mandatory two to three year sentence, even on your first possession. We are unable to ascertain if Brigadier Jerry is a US citizen. If he is a green card holder, um, certainly I'm telling you he's gonna end up in removal proceeding. And I am confident that the possession of a loaded firearm that was used in the fashion described in media reports, that it will be an aggravated felony. And if it is an aggravated felony under immigration laws, the likelihood that he would be able to um, escape deportation would be very, very slim, if not impossible. And the Brigadier, well known as he is in Jamaican circles in New York, a non-entity in more rural Connecticut. In Jamaica and in our community here in New York, Connecticut and New Jersey, Boston, along the eastern seaboard, of course, he is a celebrity. But in the uh, Connecticut, where he will be dealing with a United States district attorney, uh, police departments that are largely white folks, uh, I don't know if that celebrity status is gonna provide him with any cover. Some sympathy for Brigadier Jerry as he awaits trial on a quarter million dollar bail bond. I expect Brigadier at this stage of his career and his age, uh, I expect much better from him in that sense, but it may be some influence mm. beneath that action. Obviously there's something wrong with him mentally. And this is one of the things I wanna say from sometime alcoholism, you know, depression, mental health. And we as Jamaican people, we kind of shove it under the rug. We act as if, you know, we put a stigma to it instead of taking taking the bull by the horn and getting help. So they were saying that it was a prank gone wrong. Well, them need to leave prank to nephew Tommy and Steve off the show because them get paid for do that. We, <laughs> we don't get paid to do that. People, it don't look good. It don't look good at all. Donald Vernon, a fan of Brigadier Jerry, good. who was arrested earlier this month on gun and rob. It don't look good for the general. Yeah. You see, 
Man, oh man. You see the do a joke cast? Hmm? You see what the joke cast do? Hmm? You see what the joke cast? So now, it not look too bright, but we still hope for the best. Still open for the best out of all this. Yeah. Still hope for the best out of all of it. Sorry that things like this happen. Now I know that the person who do this prank and I'm supposed to feel like crap because you jeopardize the man green card or him sit on the ship, whichever one. Not only that, you mean the man have a record now. Probably I will get on a long time before he can travel to the States. But I guess that's how life goes, see? Eh? Sometimes people do things and without thinking. Just do things to have a laugh. And then look at what the laugh turned out to be. Look at what it turned out to be. Hmm? I guess I saw it go, right? I guess we live and we learn. And we never stop learning. But I hope this person who do this thing, who do this prank, don't do it again to another person. I wonder how he would feel if somebody do it to him and he's left in this situation right now. I wonder. <laughs> Just have to leave it up to the Mosa, you know? Because me can do it. And the fans can do it. So we have to leave it up to the Mosa and the lawyer. I'll cut it right there, sir. Just want to bring that little update to my viewers and subscribers. To let them hear what's going on and where the case is right now and what to be expected so we just hope for the best another edition of og talk this is murphy and the channel is how can i help speak on this peace